watching this documentary, what do you want people to take away? I would like Filipinos, first and foremost, to realize that we have something that gives us a cultural identity. It's going to be knowledgeable. People are going to learn a lot. They're going to learn, I'm, I'm assuming that you're going to learn the history of the martial arts, the culture, the people, and to see a lot of people aren't familiar with the Filipino martial arts. Well, I just think that this is a kind of a, a vehicle to just keep the culture alive and keep it going and keep it moving, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and the beautiful thing is evolution, you know, it's, it's to see it grow and get bigger. And this is why we're all here to support and, uh, and to just enjoy our heritage and, uh, and uh, see a good movie. Uh, I'm looking forward to finally seeing this production come to fruition. I remember doing an interview with Jay uh, back in 2009 or 10, and I was very interested in, in hearing uh, the outcome of this project, primarily because of what it was based on, uh, uh, the, the export of, of Filipino martial arts and how it's affected the Hollywood industry and I'm very proud to be a Filipino and, and uh, I was born there. The contribution of Filipino martial arts in especially movie making which is almost everybody when there's an action in Hollywood films it, they, they correlate it to karate or kung fu. Little did you know that J.P. Mada, I can tell him, is using Filipino martial arts. So it's about time we get the Filipinos and the Filipino culture get it due credit. You've been doing martial arts for the longest time and you also trained under uh, Dan Inosanto, right? And how is it like training with him? Oh, training under Dan Inosanto is just a pleasure and a blessing. You know, it's just, uh, he's such a humble man, so knowledgeable, so gifted as, you know, a practitioner and uh, has helped spread the art, uh, you know, around the world you know over the years and I, I've been fortunate enough to be uh, a part of that you know and, and him putting me, bringing me putting me under his wing and, and uh, you know having his training and, and his friendship over the years. It's, um, it opens so many doors for Filipinos and I think putting it out there and being that it's in the actual industry and in film and cinema, it's, it's putting the name out there which is really good. I'm actually interested so I'd love to look into it for sure. So what are your thoughts about the document? Oh my god, I was really blown away. I discovered a lot of things that I didn't know about martial arts and our martial artists. I feel so sad that they're being, you know, they're dying and nothing's do it, nothing's being done to help them promote martial arts. I hope everybody sees this movie. Jay did a great job in doing this film and he really needs to do a second part. <laughs> uh, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, I've been waiting for this to come out for a really long time. I actually traveled from Nashville, Tennessee to be here tonight. What do you want audience to take away from this? Just how effective and how rich the culture of the Filipino martial arts is. It was so illuminating. Uh, I met uh, Jay about two years ago when he was doing the interviews and making the film here in LA. And uh, I was really impressed with how it turned out, you know, because it's especially also sad to see these old masters who, as you saw, were very good and then uh, to see them uh, pass one by one. So I hope with this film at least able to preserve or at least pay tribute to our those old masters because I was really blown away by those old masters. Hey this is Sunny Season, associate producer of the Blade Hand Documentary. We just had our first US screening at the Aratani Theater and we had tremendous, tremendous turnout of people we come from all different walks of life and we learned something. We're very proud of the cultural heritage that we have with them. So if you haven't seen it invite you to come out to the screenings that we're going to have around the U.S. Join us on the uh, Blade in Hand fan page on Facebook and catch the information.
to give a huge shout out to Villain TV for coming out and supporting us, uh, taking care of uh, a lot of our VIPs that came along and interviewing them for the red carpet, catching us doing the Q and A and the award presentation. And appreciation for the masters that came. Really got to give it up to you guys. Like what the director said, we should take pride in this cultural art, for this art 